Hey guys, Dr. Brady Salcido here, and you probably know by now that I love nootropics. And I love the effects they give on my brain and my brain performance, and I'll often get asked from people, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is, what my favorite nootropics are. And typically I'll give them a list of things that I'm currently trying, or things that I'm experimenting with, or things that I'm kind of hot on at the moment. But there's always one nootropic that I seem to mention that seems to raise a lot of eyebrows, which is this one right here. Now, if you are in the fitness industry, most likely you are very, very familiar with this particular supplement and just didn't realize it was actually a nootropic as well. This supplement or nootropic that I'm holding right here is creatine. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why creatine is becoming a much more popular nootropic and how creatine can help you bulk up your brain. So the first questions that we need to address are, what is creatine and how is it actually used in the body? And I need to address two myths here. One of the first ones is that many people are under the impression that creatine is not a natural substance in the body. It's synthesized in a lab and you can only get it in supplement form. And that's actually not true. Creatine is actually a natural substance found in the body. It's formed from the combination of glycine and arginine, which are two natural amino acids found in the human body. And it's not just synthesized in a lab. And the great thing about that is the body recognizes it. So if you get too much, the body does a great job of getting rid of what it doesn't need or what it's not going to use. Now, the second myth that I want to address is how is creatine actually used in the body? And because a lot of power lifters and weight lifters use creatine to help build muscle, many people are under the impression that creatine is a muscle building supplement. And that's actually not true. Creatine is actually an energy building supplement. So let's see exactly how this works. Our body's main unit of energy, or main energy currency, if you will, is something known as ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. What it means is that there's an adenosine group here that's attached to three different phosphate molecules. Now, the way that the body will actually use ATP for energy is it'll actually break off that last phosphate group there, and the breaking of that bond is actually what creates energy for the body to use. But unfortunately, after that happens, ATP, then because it lost a phosphate group, becomes ADP, or adenosine diphosphate, and that cannot be used for energy. So as you imagine, what happens is the more you start to use energy, the more you start to work out or use your muscles, and eventually ATP will run out. And that means you'll run out of energy and you'll start to fatigue. But here's the cool thing. Here's how creatine comes into the mix. Creatine then binds to a phosphate molecule and then will actually redonate that phosphate back to ADP so that guess what? ADP can then become ATP again, which then means you have more energy to do what you need to do. This is why weightlifters, bodybuilders are so in love with creatine, not because it directly builds muscle, but because it provides your muscle with more energy to be able to do the job that it needs to do to perform better and therefore inadvertently build muscle because you're able to perform more and perform better. But what many people don't realize is that yes, creatine is stored primarily in your muscle, but the second big storehouse of creatine is actually in your neurons, your brain cells. And if you think of it logically, your muscles use a tremendous amount of energy. So do your neurons. Your neurons use tremendous amounts of energy just to do the job. Your brain actually uses 20% of the total energy that your body will use in any given day. So now imagine that you add more creatine into the mix for your brain cells to be able to use. It means that you are going to be able to have more brain power, more brain performance as a byproduct, thanks to more energy provided from creatine. Have you ever had a really mentally strenuous day? Maybe it was back in college when you're taking finals, midterms, and you're just really using a lot of brain energy to actually solve those problems. Or maybe it was a tough day at the office, tough day at work, you're having to solve a lot of problems, there was a lot of stress, a lot of things going on. And do you remember how you felt at the end of the day? You weren't just physically tired, you were mentally burnt out, you were done, that was it, your brain could give no more. Well think of your brain cells like your muscles. If you use them a lot and you're using them for a lot of activity, especially mental activity during the day, they're going to fatigue, they're going to tire out towards the end of the day. Now, one interesting study showed that because of how creatine works in the brain cell to provide more energy for your brain cells and therefore your brain, it actually prevents cognitive decline and cognitive fatigue due to strenuous activity, which means that when you supplement or use creatine to help boost your brain power, bulk up your brain, it means your brain's going to be able to perform better and longer. So therefore, that is why creatine is being classified also as a nootropic. And when your brain cells are getting more energy thanks to creatine, it means that your brain is gonna be able to do its job 
better, which is going to help you perform in multiple aspects of your life. And one study showed that just supplementing with just five grams of creatine per day actually improved working memory. And not only that, because the brain's able to perform better, because it has more energy thanks to creatine, it's actually been shown to improve your IQ, intelligence, as well as focus and attention. Now, there was one interesting study that showed that when they actually depleted creatine in the brain of mice, it actually has been shown to actually lower neuroplasticity, which is your brain's ability to actually change, adapt, and learn new things. And therefore, it actually reduced and slowed the ability of the brain to actually learn and pick up new habits which just goes to show how important creatine is for your brain performance. So with that in mind, that's one of the main reasons why I use creatine on a regular basis, not only to help my athletic and my fitness performance, but also to improve my brain performance and brain function as well. And the beautiful thing about creatine is that it's cheap and it's affordable for anyone to be able to use, and it's very simple to get started with very little side effects that can happen from using creatine. So go ahead, check it out, and start bulking up your brain using creatine. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video on creatine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful for you. And if you want more videos like this on brain hacking and lifestyle hacking, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking that button right there.